so yesterday I got a build challenge from a builder that I know really really well it's really really popular it's one uh, the fallout build contest that uh, Bethesda has on their Facebook page slash discord um, a couple times so I got challenged to a build so I'm going to give you guys the same challenge. But I'll let him explain it. But here's the gist of it. You get four floors. And I'll replay him making the challenge after this segment. By that I mean you get four floors total. That includes gantry stairs, roofs, cargo containers, anything you can think of that would give you extra space. But you get four floors total to do one build. And then the rest is all on decoration. So, yeah. That's my challenge for the next build challenge. You have from... Oh, man. But time flies when you're having cocaine. I mean, um, fun. Um, we'll go from May through June 30th. So the 4th of May through June 30th is when the build challenge is working. Because April's already over. Damn, time flies. <sighs> I really need to change this calendar that I keep beside of my desk more often. Jesus. I mean, it says it's January 2022. Good Lord, no wonder I'm making mistakes. Anyway. Um, so May 4th through June 30th. That's the challenge this time around. Four floors. Build whatever you want, but you can only have four floors. Um, you can use, and one floor is made up of one half floor and two small floors. So you can mix and match how you like. But that's it. That's all we get. Mm -hmm. And a gantry stairs counts as a floor. So, good luck. We're going to need it. There we go. So, Jack. How you doing, bud? I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back to playing because I've missed having you around. So, you can bug my ass and I can bug yours. N no, but yes. <laughs> This is true. This is true. Oh. Oh, really? Okay. What about, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, nah, yeah, catwalks and shipping containers. Uh, right, 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 right. And these things, these are actually guard, like, one of the guard sets, I think, from the pit, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. When they work, they work great. Right. 
Yes, and you've used basically one foundation and built something off the side of a damn cliff, too. But that's that's a you thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Yeah, well, they're in there. Tears. Yeah, yeah. I'm crying them right now. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So... Well, since no, not really, but I mean, since, uh, I have to put out a new build challenge anyway for my channel, I'm going to use this one and I'll just open it up to everybody because right now for the last build challenge that I did, I only really got one person that, uh, submitted and that was solitaire. So, and solitaire is crazy and she's from New Zealand. No, no, she's crazy. Well, yeah, she's crazy in the good way. Because she spent almost 55 hours trying to get a rad storm to spawn on a server. And then I told her to go ahead and use war. Yeah, and then she, she's like, oh, no, I'm an idiot. It was... <laughs> <laughs> to do the filming part of it, yeah. Psychosis, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Right. Well, dude, all I'm going to say is whenever you and HitBit build, like, cars or trucks or airplanes or any of that kind of crap where it's, like, multiple, multiple stacks of, you know, merges, it can be done. It just takes time, and you got to be crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I've seen the pictures. I mean, you definitely lost hair there. It was crazy. But, uh, hell, I remember standing on top of the thing shooting shit just so you could get the, the shots that you wanted. Yeah, I know, which kind of kills me because some of those were actually really good. Right. 
Right, the recoil calculated into it. So yeah. Right. Yep. So, well, next time you want something weird like that, just ask and I'll record it too from a different angle and then we can combine it. That's about the best that I can offer to make it better. But I'm going to show you two things that... Uh, a couple things that I figured out recently real quick since 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 you're here and I'm recording this I figured I might as well go ahead and show you if I can find the items in my inventory on this character it's kind of like going to be hit or miss for a minute no no I'm putting it right in the middle of the street you'll see it in just a second Well, these aren't really new as far as the items go. It's just I'm going to tell you something that you might not have realized. That and I'm looking for the flamingo, which I might not even have one on this character anymore because of that whole thing where they got reset at one point. But, yep, like that right there. Okay, so... As you know, everybody here and everybody watching uses these things for merging, right? The pressure plates, pretty much. Or they use the earth mounds like this over here to drop their stuff into and do the merges that way. Right. But like the, the pressure plate's what everybody uses. And if you're building in water, you put something on top of the pressure plate, then you put it on top of your camp module and you lift it out to the height of the water that you're building. You pretty much did that with your last build, if I remember right which is cool. It works beautifully and it works exactly the way you want it to. Well, I found out that these are the other two items you can do that trick with. Yeah. Flamingos can go in water as long as it's the water that actually, if you jump into it, your body creates a splash and you sink into. Yeah. That water, it, yeah, the, the, the fake water, it doesn't work with, but like that kind of stuff, the flamingos will work with, and so will these. And the cool part about the uh, the stumps is that y you can get multiple items to sit on it if it's positioned properly. So, so yeah, the, these are sinkable items that will let you build something that's floating in the water if you want to try it. I mean, I know you've already done it, but I figured I'd show you that because I haven't gotten to really show it in a video yet and so much stuff you know hmm. yep that's exactly what i did <laughs> that's exact that's exactly what i freaking did <laughs> I was try I was trying to build something at the time and I don't even remember what it was. I think it was one of those stupid canoes that we use. And uh, yeah, and uh I threw down everything that I had to try and figure out what would work together. And then also um Helm Chan which is one of the guys that I talked to which is friends with Prince Julius and Hitbit. Um he was building a barge and we were trying to figure out how to float the barrels underneath it. And he and I sat there for a while until we came to the conclusion that, that the stumps would work better for putting the barrels on. Uh, he was using... Let me see if I've got one out somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, the pit steel barrels. Those, the, yeah, that exactly. That's exactly what he was using. And he could fit. He could fit two of them on it at a time, or three of them on it at a time, if he got it positioned right on the stumps. That's true. Well, you know they've got that dock coming out, right? The one that supposedly got barrels underneath it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I hope not, but yeah, you're probably right, because that's the way it seems to work in this game when it comes to stuff. For some... Yeah. Right. <laughs> nice. My, the, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, attempted to do anything weird with the bulwark yet. Although, all, although I have done some other weird stuff, but that's one of those things that I need to figure out a way to make it work the way I want it to. I got to thinking about it. You know, everybody always puts it on like a floor object or they try and put it on an, like a, uh, foundation and that kind of stuff and I was wondering if there was a way that we could cheat that right Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the swampy area? Yeah. Did you ever see what I built at Harper's Ferry? 
the one that was like hanging underneath the bridge okay because i couldn't remember if you saw that before you stopped playing because you stopped playing this game for almost a year really you were only in it every once in a while you weren't really Right. 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 Well, I think they're getting gearing up to do another package whenever the new area opens up, and it'll probably be included in that because I have a feeling that we're going to get another big build kit for Blue Ridge coming out of that zone, to be honest. But... Yeah, yeah. They're still saying June... Somewhere... Somewhere mid-June to late July. I jumped on the PTS. The area is actually fairly stable. I don't know how the quests are going to work and if those are going to be stable. But as far as on the map goes going into it, it worked like the two major quests, the two major boss fights that are in the area, those seem to be stable as hell. There's plenty of enemies down there. Um, the one thing that I know people are going to try and do is, you know how everybody wants to get a death claw for their camp? I know at least four people that are going to go looking for a turkey for their camp. So. But. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That didn't last forever. He lasted like two days. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I understand what you mean. I mean, I have... The funny thing is, since you mentioned chickens, I have seen here lately, like, two camps that had chickens whenever I was out running around. No, I don't know. They might have. I'm just surprised they found them, to be honest, because I have only seen them spawn in World, like, twice. Right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You mean that one? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen 
I've seen rad stags, chickens, possums, cats, two dogs, but that's it. Yeah. Yep. That's what that's what I got there. The guy with the two dogs. It's a storyteller, if I remember right. Oh, dude, my wife talked to him once, and like all of a sudden, we had uh, a death claw show up because he was telling her a story about a death claw. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, right. But, yeah, I, I mentioned that to a bunch of different people, that if you get something in one area and you move to another one, it'll respawn at a different level based on the area you're coming into. And they always think I'm crazy until they do it, and then it's a different situation. But... Well, you do what you need to do. You do what you need to do. Thanks for the challenge. I will uh, put it out there and prob like I said, I'm going to use it for my channel. I'll just go ahead and say that now. If you're watching this video, that uh, the challenge is to build something with four floors and only four floors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I built here because I knew it would be tiered, and I also knew that it would look cool and look like it kind of belonged into Flatwoods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, I get it. <laughs> I'm sure. Great. I'm going to wind up having to use roofs for floors. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right. All right. Right. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine. Take out all my fun. All right, fine, no prefabs. Yeah. 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 You are. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. So you want really compact shit is what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. That's like one to two foundations. All right. Yep. I will talk to you later. Thank you for stopping by.